Well, agriculture science affects all of us every day. If you like to eat, if you like to be healthy and to have nutrition, you're going to be engaging with agriculture. So today we're so happy to be here for National Ag Day. I mean, I was looking through some of the developments, and it's kind of stunning. Even Band-Aids, the reason they stick to you are because of proteins, proteins. found in milk. What, what are some of the breaking edge, leading edge things that are happening right now? Well, right now, what the major developments in agriculture are many of them in electronic technology. So okay. from drones to precision agriculture, robotics, AI, all the data we gather every day around our soil, our plants, our air, our water has to be analyzed. So these are some of the emerging jobs and opportunities in agriculture that we're here to talk about today. I, I think sometimes when people think about agriculture, they miss the fact that from clothing you wear, as you were talking about different kinds of products that you use, and the fact that we all eat in the agricultural industry. Um, and its related uh, uh, industries is like 5% of the U.S. economy. It's a tro hmm. close to a trillion dollar kind of industry. This has impact. And fundamentally, we still have to eat, no matter what you say. By 2050, there'll be about 10 billion people in the world. Wow. We have to produce 60% more food. And we have to do it in a way that's sustainable. And um, so how do we do that? We have to get a whole bunch of folks much better involved with the agriculture industry and being really smart if, about it. If we it. made the same gains we made in the last hundred years, we'll be fine, right? Except for those, some of those gains we've Harder made in the last hundred years aren't sustainable over the long term. So we have to mm -hmm. do this even smarter. And we have to do it in such a way that we preserve the resources that we have on this planet. Right. That's the reason why we're so excited about the idea of getting more students involved with science literacy Agricultural sciences and improving it. We need to work on the uh, the stigma of of using modern technology like genetics to to improve yields and things. Like, I mean, it, it, at Whole Foods, if it has anything to do with GMO. with GMOs, it's like you can't have it. When I, you know, so, I, I would, they better not you know need any medicine that was developed through <laughs> genetically uh, you know but altered. There's, there's a range of things that are available, and what happens when you get people who are well uh, versed in this? You get a range of information that's available from the production to the distribution to the how you prepare foods, all the way through. So it's that whole range of things. Whether you use uh, some you know, uh, genetic manipulation, or whether or not you look at how do you grow things in the soil. All of that is important. It, just, it seems like the advances that are being made, you know, just breakneck pace at this point in, in biology. We should be pretty good at, 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 at the challenges you're talking about. Sustainability, greater yields, uh, healthier. I, I just, I'd be very bullish. I wouldn't be Malthusian at all about running out. I'd be very bullish. No, no well, so, so here's the thing. What we've done over the past uh, year with 4-H, Bayer and 4-H, did a survey of teachers. 80% of high school science teachers said that they believe that it's important to teach agricultural sciences. Less than 50% of them feel comfortable, and only 22% of them actually teach it in their classrooms. Hmm. So no matter what kinds of incredible work is being done in the laboratories, if you don't have the people able to fill the jobs, is not going to matter. Jennifer, what are you doing well, to try and fix certainly. that? Certainly. Well, currently, USDA estimates there are tens of thousands of jobs in agriculture companies that are going unfilled. Because so we can't we find qualified we people can't for find it? qualified people here in the U.S. So that's what Bayer and National 4-H Council have set out to do, is to really raise awareness of the importance of agriculture science for our health, our nutrition, our food supply. We take for granted in the U.S. our safe and abundant, if you've ever, What's abundant the is it, food supply. Is it that it's not sexy? We think of things like people want to go to Silicon Valley and create self-driving mm -hmm. cars and learn how to code. It's true, but when you think about how a young person can apply science in a way that's going to affect everyone's life and make it better every day, mm -hmm. food, nutrition, health, those are everyday needs. And this is really, um, for us, we're inspiring young people. We believe that they can make a difference in the world and really empower them through agriculture science. Dr. Jameson, I've, I've spoken with you in the past about mm -hmm. STEM, just in general, right. how eager you are to try and get young people involved in STEM. But how much tougher is, is this, agricultural sciences? Well, you know, the, the agricultural sciences, there's some differences. But as you were saying, a lot of it is life sciences and biology. A lot of it, I was a chemical engineer as an undergraduate. You do chemical engineering. 
coding, right? Because now we have to understand, you know, we can monitor the, the water in the soil. You can use space technology. You can remotely sense and see the crops and land management. So it's really about getting that information out to folks and exposing them to what, what can actually happen, right? The kind of, what did you call it, sexy jobs yeah, that you can exactly. have, right? Well, <laughs> where our food comes from is really important to all of us. And for kids, it's kind of a gateway science. Everybody wants to grow a seed, watch it grow, yeah, you uh, plants, that animals. In school, right? It's a starting point and um, growing into all the other technologies that are available in agriculture. But if you've ever been on a modern day farm, which I've had the pleasure of doing, um, you see the stewardship that our farmers um, put into every um, kind of food that we eat, from dairies to crops. And they are really our stewards of our, um, of our environment. And today on National Ag Day, we're excited to celebrate what they do and to bring even more young people into agriculture science. Ladies, and, thank you. Oh, go ahead. No, I was going to say, and it's the first day of spring, and right. parents it can get And it's going to snow. It's the... <laughs> <laughs> if parents want to learn more about ag science, thanks to Bayer, they can go to 4h.org forward slash Bayer and learn more for activities and things for them and their kids. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.